if you didn't know i'm a big fan of the fairy knights i like bargus i i just like all of them uh britomart i don't know i haven't seen her character besides she acts like a ditz um but definitely bargus and baba and she are two of my favorite characters uh gameplay wise and story wise uh like especially on the gameplay side i've always liked these two i always thought they were like some of the most complete like well-intentioned and like well put together uh hits like in like the game like i always thought these two just stood out both of them are able to do like really good solos um but vargas like always had um just like better survivability um her vargas mp didn't hit, do that much damage but it did enable her playstyle. and here's the problem with babanshi her playstyle wasn't exactly the most well defined like she was super good for like multi-core like it's not common you have a four star that has as big of batteries as baba and she she has more than she has more than one number one and the count for it goes above 50 percent. you don't see that on lower rarity units uh not split and not unless it's like uh divine words like they're getting a big batter the bomb and she she's tactical and this mp it's it's gross if you know like how she's used all right let's go bob on she uh also like i think i bring this up every time i talk about it but when i was a kid my mom used to collect shoes um i think when bob on she came out like it just re it reminded me of that and i had to like ask my mom hey whatever happened to your shoes and then i remember that they fell like a long time ago uh i don't know that's kind of just symbolic for me um that young bob and she like all about making the shoes I, I i it honestly just reminds me of seeing this in my parents house uh and then as she got older and got more corrupted they just fell apart nice little connection all right so let's get started on the base stats 9.4555 or 9.455k attack this is a good number for a four star uh you want it to be at least above 9000 anything below you're gonna run into a lot of damage problems uh 9.4 pretty much good as is um and hp 12.1k uh, this is definitely on the lower side this is to be definitely lower however bob and she depending on how you kid her out uh and i'm talking command codes along with um uh, how you use her like uh, and the ce's this number might not be that like you're you'll probably be healing a lot because bob and she use healing command codes and now you use curse command code if you have curse command codes that let you heal even better because there are curse command codes that can let you do that uh star weight star gen these are normal archer numbers mp charge is healthy at 0.58 with a double quick double art stack with Kazra drop in the game this is the big one Kazra drop being in the game she is Kazra drop is meant for this type of deck Balanji's refund is going to be ridiculous. She is going to be MP spamming way more than she was before. And now her MP is really, really going to fucking bite. These are really good hit counts on these cards. Um, the arts card is a little lacking, but it's she's an archer. It's implied she's going to crit on these or she should be critting. One hit buster. This is kind of the issue I was running into my uh, multi-core runs in that like she only had the one buster card. So me using double ruler Scotty was an issue uh, with me not running black row, but I needed double ruler Scotty because it was a multi-core setup. So this unfortunately always makes ruler Scotty comps annoying. And also 
Bonaventure doesn't have like innate crit damage. Uh, so any she would much prefer mixing and matching Scotties. Uh, but that's only for the card buffs. And with Causer Drop and a different buffer, because of this, you might just get away with not even using Scotty. What I'm talking about is Ashia Doman. He gives 40% attack and 100% crit. Now, Kazura Drop doesn't give a crit buff, but she does give card buffs. So you can use double Doman, uh, Kazura Drop, and basically have double Scotty for what? This is like, this is the next stage of like FGO where now characters have like better comps than like the standard. Because I do think Kazura Drop is a better support than Scotty or Bavanshi. The only issue is going to be refund. But if you're using Kazura Drop, like you're not that concerned with batteries. You're more concerned with um you're more concerned with like actual refund from your crits. So even though that kind of team is lacking like quick batteries. Bavanshi should just be carding and like making it work. I'm saying that as an option again, like over if you don't have Scotty or uh, you don't have Ruler Scotty. I'm saying like this might end up being like smoother, like after like batteries off. Because like you can't deny like a battery is a, a 50 battery is a 50 battery. You're not going to say no to that. But if you're able to not need batteries at all, like your refund is just so good. Like I would just go for the refund, Espe especially for quick. Quick is known for its carding and the carding part has been neglected pretty much since uh, Caster Scotty got introduced. People care more about MP spam than it did about quick cards, like actually doing crits. All right, first skill, 40% card buff. For three turns, invo for the uh for herself and gives the entire party one dodge. There's no duration on this dodge. It will just last. So if you're doing farming and shit goes south, don't worry. That first turn, like your entire team has at least one dodge protecting them. This skill, really, really good. This is part of the reason I was like, I like I have not liked Tristan. Like OG Tristan um, since Bob on she was released like not on an A I can't say that on JP because when I started on JP Lost World 6 already happened but I was playing on NA for two years before Bob and she released and Tristan like Tristan like is a single target DPS Tristan is now uh, she was multi-core like really strong now she's just the DPS. He is like the quick DPS now. Um, really funny they did that after Melt. And Melt's buff is very related to this actually. Um, so this skill just solid. She can't, she pretty much doesn't take damage. Um, and because of this extra dodge, if they happen to have Invul Pierce and, um, what is it? Pure solid defense. She's not gonna take damage <laughs> because she has this dodge in, re in reserve. Honestly, that is something that like we should point out, or I should point out that because of um, pure solemn defense is going to be a thing in the future. Bosses have dodge is gonna come back into like this is a good thing to have. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Uh, like again, this forty percent quick on a four, on a four star is just nasty. Second skill seals all enemies MPs seals their skills and you get a thirty battery. If your run goes past three turns, this is a fucking lifesaver because it stops the enemy from popping bullshit like dodge or anything else that's gonna stop you from actually doing damage. It's just gonna make them attack. You take a bunch of hits, and if it's easier for you to MP. Awesome. 
but yeah this is like really nice in cqs and in farming if you're run again if your run goes south this is going to help make it so it doesn't go as south as it could third skill 3k heal by draining the enemy uh pretty much guaranteed drain chance of their mp and you get another 30 battery so 30 30 and if you have remand loading that is 80 starts off with 80 percent like ability off rip and because these are split batteries if you just bring in a 50 you're good and you'll have another battery in reserve that is what i was doing for the 90 plus plus on uh na for like the last two weeks it was babanshi uh double ruler scotty and um pretender El elisa like that once i got in the flow like i did not like i wasn't using black rail but my runs were consistently four turns or like five turns but like no one was really dying there were only a couple runs when shit actually went like dead south uh but yeah her skills oh my god like if only like more characters were like up to this level because this is like this is like pure suppressing fire and like why she's like act, like really good in uh solos because she has hard survivability and she has two other ways to just n nope people from actually like mp against enemies that have like higher than i would say four um ticks for their gauge baba and she is just like a nightmare because by the time they actually are able to mp there's a good chance this came back off cooldown especially if you have um a pen five unlock there's a good chance you can just stall lock people and face tank mps with the anvil which is definitely something Vargas can't say because Vargas does not have part survivability. If they buff Vargas and give her a guts or invul, oh my fucking god. She is like she is like solo queen because she has everything she needs. And especially because she can reduce cooldown. So no matter what, that guts, even if it's on uh foul weather, that guts actually will have like real really good uptime. And the same like same for Vargas, if she's fighting someone with like four or five ticks, she's probably having that guts up like the whole time. All right, let's get to passives. Magic resist EX 25% debuff resist. Now this doesn't fight off Kazra drops uh debuff resistance, but holy. Writing A. So she always has a quick with this skill up she'll always have a actual quick mana burst up wow passive creep by the way and then another 10 percent arts for the territory creation god damn uh but something to note she has an archer with the writing skill meaning keep her as far away as possible from brito mart brito mart will fuck babaji up really hard because she'll be getting uh is it power mod against Ryder or super effective? Hold up. Uh, I actually have to double check that. She's about to be released on an A. Is she going to get a buff? Maybe. Uh, I think Bargus is much more likely. But there is always the chance that uh, Brynmark gets buffed. I don't think it's I don't think it's that likely. She's a Fey Knight, but she was not out in Lost Build 6 um no no it's on the mp okay no power mod it'd be, it'd be worse if it was super effective it'd be way worse um but you shouldn't bring be bringing an archer to fight lancers in the first place so yeah all right bavanshi let's uh talk about a pens if you are more looking at farming, get mana loading. It will make your life so much easier. Uh, the most annoying thing about doing that 90 plus plus is that her a pen wasn't maxed out and neither was her battery. So I had to waste charge when I shouldn't have. Uh, I'm lacking QP. That is the main reason. Uh, and with a lotto being so close, I didn't feel the need to like farm up more than I have to. It's literally next week. 
and I get to be off most of next week. So I'm really happy. I get to go like full um, degen mode for this lotto. And then the week after, it's a bunch of half days too. So there, there is no excuse for uh, why I get below like 400 boxes in this lotto. Uh, all right. But <laughs> enough about that. Uh, the mana loading, again, it's for farming. Skill reloading, this actually has like really good value. Because uh, like I said, if if you're not in a like min turn situation or you're in a solo especially uh you're gonna have like great uh instances of just survivability uh as long as everything is maxed out uh there's a good chance you'll be able to stall out enough that you can get a lot of this stuff back off cooldown it's not gonna be clean like don't expect these to all be coming off cooldown at the same time you you, you probably are gonna be holding a few of these uh for when you need it like don't don't just try dumping the skills uh whenever they pop up like especially if you have full gauge like why if you if you can get away without using these just use her tactically and you're like golden extra attack is pretty much only if she's soloing or you know she like you're planning for her to do an extra attack so basically if you're soloing uh these two are the most important first and fifth uh but if you have like a super high copy like mine uh just get like if you can get all three of them get all three uh anti alter ego this is a good one because alter egos just do less to her why not let her do more damage to them and increases her own crit damage again not a bad one because she does not have crit intrinsic to her kit uh and she doesn't have power mods either so all the crit is either coming from her supports or I guess a skill or this event. So again, if you have like super bomb on cheese, lots of copies, this is this is what, what you would be trying to do. You'd be getting like all of these really help her, but like these, th especially this one can just be turned off. So if you need to pick four, all of them except this one, but it is like, is a use case, not the best use case. All right. This is what the MP was before. Six hit, single target quick, ignores evasion, uh, damage to one enemy, inflicts curse, after damage. There's a reason I'm prioritizing saying after damage. Um, thousand curse for five turns. Awesome. This is a really long sticking DOT. Even better, she inflicts evil curse on them, which amps the curse of damage up. So 200% means this does 3,000 damage. And she can just keep spamming her MP. If you get higher OC, you <laughs> curse do five times damage. So, as, like, if you didn't know Bob Bunchy's gameplay loop or what it was for dots, you just keep spamming her MP to, like, keep amping the dot. But that's not what her MP... Now we have the MP buff. Now we have this stupid MP buff. Out of all of the buffs they could have given to her, this is actually the most broken thing they could have possibly given her without actually making her broken. Okay, so <clears throat> they move the curse and the uh, curse amp to before damage, just like Melt. But unlike Melt, she didn't have another effect that was really getting screwed over by this. Except they made it so now she has a super effective mod versus curse enemies that are cursed that ramps up to a hundred percent. This is really, really stupid, especially considering Domon is like one of her best supports. And I truly think you can probably use him as a substitute, like double Domon Kazuro drop, I think it would just work with uh, Bavan Cheese Kit just better. So there's no other effects, but they move these two to before damage. So now this always, always has at least plus 10% super effective damage. If you're using Doman and he's actually MPing, it's going to get really disgusting because the, uh, the curse dot amp is going to go up. He's going to be putting curse and curse amps on. 
So it's going to be a never ending cycle of Bavanshi and Doman cursing enemies with their MPs and Bavanshi just slowly hitting more and more like a truck. And Doman gets away with this because he has 100% batteries and he, you can like after, um, like pretty much after he's done like applying his shit, um, like one of them swaps out the Kazuro drop, like whether he MPs or not, that's up to you. But like at least one is staying on the field enough to MP at least once. And then if he can die, uh, if something happens to him, awesome. Um, maybe put a taunt on him or something up for some kind of enemy that actually will like just pop the clown. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is a lot of lethality. This this was such a strong MP buff. And, and especially because it's an MP buff. Because single target archers are always lacking in comparison to the other classes that fuck up uh, sabers. BL, MHA, MHXA, MHX, uh, MHXX, Musashi. Five servants that are not archers that almost do more damage than archers. It's it gets really dumb. Um okay, yes. Oh, wait, what? Okay. So they don't have the curse amp. Oh, wait, okay. I know what's going on here. So the reason this is showing the way it is, like it's not showing um, the curse amp, is because this is always supposed to be a servant's own kit, putting on like everything. Right here, Bavanshi is considered having at least the first 10% super effective. And with just that 10%, she shoots up to the top of the fucking list. She shoots up to the top of the list with one MP buff and just a 10% increase in damage from super effective. 10%. She was over here. I want to say she was around like 34,000 and she bumped up. Yeah, no, that because that makes sense. Ky uh, Chiron MP1 and then 10% of this is uh, like 4.4 4. 4. 4 thousand. That adds up, pretty much adds up. So Bavanshi's uh, MP damage probably around here-ish. And just the single copy got her to the top. Not even like rounding. This is the top of the list. He is the hardest hitting single target archer in the game now. That's an actual archer at MP1. And like pretty much no niche that isn't or like already active. The fact that like you can just like casually use Dolmen and she just gets double Dolmen is like four, two curses each and the MP is another curse. So two of them with only one MPing, that's 50% super effective from just Doman by himself. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of first damage and not to mention, uh, a lot of that can just be amped up by Bavanshi when she MPs. So that dot is going to like, like that is going to be some disgusting levels of dot damage and mp damage to go along with it because her mp will ramp up uh with that 50 percent super effective or let's call it 60 now um half of this is 20 uh no bring it down to like 44 um half of that is 22 so the mp damage would jump to 66 uh and then add another 4,000, so 70 70 000, basically her mp when you're at like five to six stats, her MP5 damage is MP1. So 
So I'm pretty sure Ashwatthaman, when he's like fully ramped up with uh, defense down, so eh, not likely scenario. Uh, Orion only for one turn if fighting a male. Yeah, it, the whole thing about this is that Bavan, she's just, he stands out now. Like, it's like they always want the Fairy Knights to be like the gold standard. The issue is now this gold standard is out damaging five stars. It's like, <laughs> Moriarty and Talavias. Both of them are being beat out by a four star. Oh, <laughs> I know there's more to tell tell my comps, but that is that really does like Emia Alter for the longest time. It's the hardest hitting, but his was like three times. Baba and she, there is no times with her in the three turns. She's just going to ramp up and do even more damage. Uh, oh, I, ah, I closed something. So, before I, like, while I'm loading up, um, is Bob on Sheen must summon? No, I, I don't think you truly should be going on a banner just for a four star. Like, you have to like the five star as well. Um, but sh this is a very, very strong single target unit. Uh, and just like good quick servant in general. Like if you like quick, you should at least have one Bob and Sheet. That's a good, a good enough copy. Like at least like MP two or three. Um, if you are a f like really big fan like me, I already planned on one twenty um, Bob and she. Like both with both her and Vargas getting potential buffs, I'm much more willing to like one twenty them on NA once I actually have what I need to do that. Matt's level, uh, not terrible. No proofs, no void dust, no bones on the regular skills. Let's see this, but stakes and night, night metals. I think the stakes, some people would have issue, but I'm 99% sure on NA, we're going to have a stake lottery. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I still have like all this a lot of the stakes from that lottery like i think one of my account has like 1600 so i'm personally not hurting for stakes that much but it's going to definitely be an account basis uh i think the, uh, like one of the other accounts is like starved for them like actually needs a lot bells blood vials but honestly it could be worse with her bond ce 30 percent mp damage and 30 percent uh this blonde C honestly isn't that good like this part is awesome uh but five percent gauge she kind of doesn't need it double quick double arch mm. oh i mean uh, sure if they make this uh permanent buff or you can run this and something else awesome that's it gives her a chance of getting better rent refund and you can scum save so if you're like lacking like two percent this actually might save your ass all right i'm i'm really awake uh with this buff i have a half day at work i'm 90 percent sure we're gonna uh gonna come <laughs> we're gonna come back from work and we're gonna game all right i will see you guys in the next one peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace